hello guys in this video i'll show you how you can send emails using your pic microcontroller and esp8266 wi-fi so this is the schematics and as you can see the schematics is very much similar to our previous tutorial uh, in which we we saw how to interface an esp8266 module with a pic microcontroller so if you are absolute beginners with esp8266 or pic microcontroller then please visit this tutorial so this tutorial is published on circuit digest just head into circuitdigest.com and there are type in ESP8266 and there you can find all the tutorials related to ESP so uh, if you are completely new please visit those tutorials before heading to this one so in this video I will show you how you can send emails so let us look at the coding section so this code is done using the x 8 compiler and MPLAVX IDE and the hardware is already made. I'll show it for you. I'm streaming this through my webcam. So this is how your hardware will look like. So here I have the PIC microcontroller and the ESP module over here and an LCD is interfaced so that we can get to know what is the current position or it's, it is kind of debugging your code so you, you can know where the ESP module is currently processing. So the LCD is an optional if you want to debug your uh, program you can use your LCD otherwise it is not mandatory. So now the program is made very simple by using a header file this header file is called esp8266 underscore functions which can be downloaded from the link in the description of this video so make sure that you have included the header file over here see i have included the header file so make sure your program also has included the header file and uh, once your header file is included it is very very easy to send an email uh, all these lines over here are used to interface an LCD so if you do not want an LCD you can skip all this and if you want to know how to interface an LCD again you can find the tutorial on circuit digest now let's get into the main function as you can see all these are made very simple by using functions so here first I have to make sure that the ESP is connected properly so I will check if the ESP is started and I'll wait till the ESP replies me with an OK. So as long as the ESP is not connected, I won't be proceeding to the next step. So the LCD will display ESP not found and it will just hold over there. Once the ESP is connected, it will display ESP is connected. And then now we have to put our ESP module in mode number three so that it can act both as an access point and station. For that, you use this line of code and then you have to connect it to a Wi-Fi router so here my Wi-Fi router's name that is the signal my Wi-Fi signal's name is BPAS home and my password is Cracksen. so it might differ for you it should differ for you actually so your Wi-Fi's name should come over here and your password should come over here and then you have to enable Max, create a server and connect to smpt2go.com so smpt2go is a server which will help you to send emails so um, you have to register your email id with smpt2go uh, once you have registered you will be uh, having a login page so in that you can see what are the mails that has been sent through the esp modules and all those things i'll show you at the end of this video but if you want to know how to register your email with the smpt2go server then head to the link in the description where i'll be explaining you the steps on how to link your email id with smpt 2 go server okay now we have to log in to your mail id so this line here is a bit tricky because it uses some encoded values over here i'll show you how you can encode this uh, so before that um, the email id that i'm using here to send the mail is called ashwinth cd at gmail.com over here and the password is circuit digest so what I have to do is I have to convert these two things into 64 into uh, encode these things in base 64 for that you have to go to this link over here copy it paste it in your browser and now as you can see my mail id is ashwinthcd at gmail.com over here you can see the encoded values you have to copy this and paste it over copy it and paste it over here this is the email id and the password is similarly type in your password over here 
and you will get the encoded value over here simply copy it and paste it over here so your email id's email id and password will have its own uh, 64 encoded value 64 base encoded value so just go to that website encode it and copy it from there and paste it over here so once that is done uh, the esp will make sure that your login id and the password is matching and then it will display on the lcd login is successful and then you have to mention from which email id you are sending the mail and to which email id you are going to send the mail so the from address is ashwincd at gmail.com and i am sending this mail to another gmail id this is mail to ashwint at gmail.com so this mail id can be any mail id it can be gmail it can be yahoo it can be any of those mail ids so you don't have to register this mail id with any server or something like that so it can be any random email id and then you have to get into the subject and body of the mail so that we have to instruct our ESP that we are going to start writing this mail so this function will do that just ESP8266 start mail and then the subject of the mail will be mail from ESP8266 and the mail's body will be testing success circuit digest you can use any of your favorite subject or any of your body so that's up to you you can even read some data and then convert it to string and then paste it over here so it's up to you I'm just showing you a demonstration and then once the subject in the body is mentioned you can send that ESP8266 end mail so this will say that the user has finished typing his mail now you can send it and then once the mail is sent you have to disconnect from the SMPT2 go server so we connected it to the server over here and now we disconnect from here so once everything is done it means that the mail has been sent successful so you will get a message called saying that the mail is sent on your LCD screen so if you want to know what happens behind each and every functions for example if you want to know what happens when you send um, ESP8266 underscore connect underscore SMPT to go then you can head into this ESP8266 functions dot h header file and then inside that you can see the definition of each and every file for example here we are ESP underscore enable mux ESP underscore create server over here will create will create a server and enable mux function is defined over here similarly each and every functions will have its own definitions inside this header file so now let's dump this program onto a hardware and see how the output works so this is the hardware and I've already dumped this program in it now let me show you how I receive the mail so this is the email ID to which I should be receiving the mail if everything works properly now let me go ahead and power the PIC microcontroller okay now it says ESP is not found because I have not yet powered on my ESP module so let me go ahead and power it on now it's powered on it is connected to mode 3 it is trying to connect to my Wi-Fi network it is connected now it will be trying to log in okay the login is successful now and then if everything is working properly it should say that mail is sent and I should have received a mail over here but maybe I should refresh yes once I refresh you can see I have received the mail the subject of the mail is let me maximize it for you so the subject of the mail is mail from ESP8266 and the body of the mail is testing success by circuit digest so that is it guys you okay I missed to show you one piece of information that is how the SMPT2GO website looks like so let's log in into SMPT2GO and then log in so for this tutorial I have used my email id ashwincd at gmail.com and the password is circuit digest so let me log in with that and once you log in you can see all the details about the server and everything so let me get into email details because that's something I want to show you right now so these are all the emails that I have been sent so that I have been sending so far using this ESP8266 module so the last video which I showed you that is the last mail which I sent was by 11 12 a.m. and that is 
mail from ESP8266 and it was sent to mail to ashwin at gmail.com so all these things is I have been trying them to work with uh, uh, 80 commands to work with Arduino to work with pig so I have various other mails sent previous time but the last mail was uh, at 11 12 a.m. which I show you showed you in this video so similarly you can check every every mail that has been sent by your ESP8266 module and to which email it was sent oh. so now if you get into the summary you can see to which email ID your uh, mail was sent that is there is one sender in total for example I have sent from only ashwincd at gmail.com if you have sent it from another email id it should be two sender in total and the IP address from which you have sent the mail so there, there has been 13 mails which I have sent so far so all these details can be found by using this app.smpt2go.com website so that is it guys thank you for watching